Hi again everyone and thanks for joining me for today's video. Well, it's the day. We are going to pick up my very first nucleus colony of honeybees. I can't believe that the day to pick up the bees is finally here. I'm still very excited, but I'm still very nervous at the same time. I did go ahead and throw in the car my bee jacket, my smoker, and my gloves. I have no idea how this is going to go, so better to be prepared, right? The other thing I did purchase was a mesh bag to put this nuke box in, and that should prevent any of the bees from actually escaping on the drive home. So far, I've just been a keeper of a whole lot of stuff bunch of boxes, a bunch of frames, and some tools. So as of today, I become an official beekeeper. Let's just head out and go get these bees. Pulling into the honeybee farm. Let's get real. I'm just sitting here waiting in line for my turn to get my bees. There are so many people here. I've been in line about 20 minutes and I would say there's probably still 15 cars in front of me and I can't even count the number of cars behind me. So there's a lot of bees getting new homes today. There's all the nukes waiting to be picked up. How cool is that? Okay, there it is. My first nuke of bees. in the car and they're surprisingly quiet. I hope they're all alive. As you can see, I made it home with the bees and other than one wayward honeybee that decided it wanted to ride in the front seat with me, everything went well. And again, they were really quiet on the entire ride home. So the bees came in the nuke, and I did have to purchase this mesh bag just to kind of keep them, hopefully, from escaping. I'm going to take the mesh bag off and then set it on top of the hive. They could be a little bit irritated from traveling, so we're just going to give them a chance to calm down a little bit before we start moving the frames into the permanent hive. Now that I have the nuke on top of the hive, I just need to double check and make sure that I have this entrance opened up the way that I'm supposed to. I'm just gonna leave the bees for about an hour or so to let them calm down from the trip and then I'll get them transferred. Okay, I have the smoker going, taking a deep breath. You know, bees smell fear and I am doing my best not to be scared or pee myself. Here we go. This nuke came with five frames and I'm going to be putting them into one large hive body. And I already have some of the frames that I built in the box because we'll ultimately want to fill the new hive with 10 frames total. I'm going to check each frame as I remove it and hopefully I'll be able to spot the queen. I will continue moving each frame to the hive in the same order that I'm taking it out of the nuke. I found the queen. I found the queen. 
I did make sure to have everything nearby before I started transferring the bees. I had my hive tool, I had my smoker, and I am going to be using a top feeder. So I have that next to me, and I also have the entrance reducer in place. And yes, I did learn what an entrance reducer is for. It's gonna be used to narrow down the entrance so that this new colony of bees has a better chance of defending the hive. I was really surprised at how many bees were actually in this new, and pleasantly surprised to see that there were very few dead bees in the bottom. I've seen other people say that there could be quite a few, but that wasn't the case for me. I'm not even scared anymore. As soon as I started transferring the frames from the new to the hive body, every bit of the nerves that I've been feeling for the last few weeks has just gone away. It's really cool to actually see these bees doing their work in person. Now that I have the last frame from the nuke into the hive body, I am going to need to add one more of the new frames that I built so that the box has a total of 10 frames. So there was some burr comb on the tops of the frames from the nuke, so I did make sure to scrape that off before closing the hive up. Now that I've got the burr comb cleaned off, I'm just trying to make sure that I have really equal spacing between each of these frames. I have very few bees left in the bottom of the nuke, but I'm just going to tap the corner of the box and try to get these bees all in one corner so that I can dump them into the hive body. Now it's time to install my top feeder. I'll get it into place and then fill it with a one-to-one -one sugar water solution. Sugar water inside the feeder. Now that I've added the sugar water, I'm going to put the inner cover on, and I put it on upside down this time, but I have since fixed it. Now the outer cover, and a brick on top to hold everything in place. Oh my gosh, you guys, we did it. I am now an official beekeeper. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I hope to see you in the next one when I will be doing my very first hive inspection. Thanks a bunch. Bye.